divine purpose for us to make a distinction concerning my character. Mm -hmm. If I make up my mind, I'm going to serve the Lord, it makes no difference what the task may be. Uh -huh. God said, I'm not going to put on you more than you can bear. Amen. And he won't do that. Yes. Yes. But because of all of the activities of the Antichrist, and because of his psychological advantage yeah. by having all these multiple churches, all these mega churches. Yeah, My goodness, there must be something right with that church. He got 15,000 members. Anytime you see a church with 15,000 members, right. he is not teaching the truth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you think I'm lying, watch him sometime on TV. Yes. How many are dressed with white robes? What does the Bible say in Revelation? Who are these all dressed in white robes? garments. Amen. And which cometh they? Yes. They came out of great tribulation yeah, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. Yes, it's symbolic, but most of the Bible is symbolic. Yeah. But you still have to be obedient to apply, apply rather, the symbolic manifestation yes, right. so that you can be created a holy church unto the Lord. Amen. Not to nobody, not to the preacher, yeah. but to the Lord. Yeah. Everything we do is to God's glory. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. If, if, if people can go to church, one got an orange dress, mm. one got a side truth dress, mm. one got a purple dress, mm. one got a polka dot dress. Mm. And if that's all right, how come we can't wear a white robe? Yeah. Yeah. Why you could be a lot for wearing a white robe and you got all kind of colors in your yeah. We got Bible to back up our white robe, but you ain't got no Bible to back up what you drink. Amen. Amen. Talking about Armageddon yes. and the last battle. Yes. We got to make up our mind. We're not going to be a part of the other side of the Hallelujah. warfare. Amen. We're not going to be a part of the Antichrist. Hallelujah. We're going to be a part of God's army because God's army is a holy army. Hallelujah. Let's go to Daniel. Amen. Amen. Daniel, uh, I believe that's the seventh chapter. Okay, prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And pick right up, next by time, jump right into verse 21. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Now, the same horn, which represents a leader in the dispensation of time, which would be today to be the Antichrist, and made war with who? The saints. Now, made war with the saints. Now, again, turn right back to Revelation 13, chapter. Made war with the saints. Why? To overcome them. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Daniel's prophecy. But again, if you take notes in Revelation 13, chapter, yes. jump into verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he spake as a dragon, as a devil. Uh -huh. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Uh -huh. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven. Y'all see verse 13? Yes. He doeth great wonders, yes. so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven. Now the fire is not a literal fire. Yes. It's talking about he's preaching seemingly a word that comes yes. from heaven. Yes. Yes. But he got 15,000 members. Mm -hmm. Preach. He don't teach you the truth about homosexuality and lesbianism. Yes. Yes. Why? Because he wants 15,000 members. Yes. 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 He ain't gonna mention about abortion. Why? Because he wants 15,000 members. Yes. That's right. See, he got 15,000 members and when preach, he bring preach. that waste right. basket that he brings his offering in yes. and tax free and tax exempt. Yes, That's why he can buy them Mercedes Benz and, and them Bentleys. Yes. Because right. he's taking the money from the people. Oh yeah, he paying the light bill and he got the great big chandeliers in his yes. church. Oh yeah, he's doing all that. But when you're taking in $170,000, $180,000 tax exempt every Sunday, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yes. Hallelujah. But they're not buying nursing homes. They're not buying uh, shelters for people who don't have work. They're not giving a program for people who are unemployed. Maybe you can get maybe three, four hundred dollars a week until you can get yourself back together. They ain't doing that. What they're doing, they're buying them tailor-made suits and them brand new cars and getting trust fund for their children and trust fund for their grandchildren. Their children never have to work and their grandchildren never got to work because of your foolishness. If y'all 
listen to me, I'll break them in two months if you yes. listen to me. They'll be around coming off us if you listen to me. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Right. I'll take the path. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to teach you if they let me. I'm going to get Revelation 16 chapter. All right. And uh, let's pick up verse 16. I want you to see something very important. Here. Uh, <laughs> and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Uh -huh. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not seen, not since men were upon the earth, so now, mighty an earthquake and so great. Now, I dealt with this. I told you these are the woes that come in. I'm, I'm, I'm reading verse 18, 17, 18, because I want to make this connection verse 19. Teach, now, watch this now. Mm -hmm. And the great city was divided into three parts. Wait a minute. The great city was divided into what? Three mm -hmm. parts. All right. Now, if we're back to verse 18, yes. and there were voices, thunder, lightning, and there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth. Now this deals with the whole earth. Now God likens the whole earth as a great city in this context. Yes. Yes. Now watch. And the great city was divided into three parts. Into three parts. Yes. Now the original apostate movement against God was from the Babylonian church Amen. on the plain of Shinar mm -hmm. where Nimrod established the Babylonian cult of religion Amen. and through his wife Samarimus she introduced or solidified this religious movement uh -huh. this was the first movement yes, and I explained to you it came down through the Roman Catholic Church yes. through Constantine yes. and the popes right today on their mitre they have a number 666 Amen. on the Pope's mitre yes. right today, even as I speak to you. Amen. Amen. Now, why do you think God allows that to be? And yet the Pope, he knows about this, but he says, no, that 666 is for a different equation. <laughs> but I don't know why you would have 666 right. for any other equation when God has condemned it All in right. his equation. Yeah. So I'm trying to let you know yeah. it came from Babylon. Yes. And this is where all your jewelry and makeup came from. That's right. Babylon. Yes. And right today, the Babylonian influence is still with it because you got Christmas. That was for the Babylonian uh -huh. sun god, yes. Tammuz. That's right. Acts, uh, Ezekiel 8, chapter, verses yes. 14 through 16. Yes. And he gathered me and we went into the gate of the Lord's house. Yes. Which was toward the east. Yes. And there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Yes. Tammuz was the original sun god. Yes. Amen. And this worship began to come down through into the Roman Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Where's that from? Wait a minute. Revelation. The city of Sesame is seven hills. Alright, let's turn to 17. And pick up verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. Here's the mind which has what? Wisdom. Now we're going into understanding again so that you can have a clarity about this last battle. All right? The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. Rome sits amid seven hills. Yes. Mm -hmm. This woman again represents uh, the Babylonian cult of religion. Back up to chapter 17, verse 5. Mm -hmm. And upon her forehead was a name written. Upon her forehead, this woman. Now it come out the forest now. Uh, back to verse 4 of clarity. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. How, how was the woman dressed? Uh, in purple and scarlet color. She had no white room. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Purple and red. Amen. Purple and red, uh huh. And decked with gold and precious stones. Oh, praise the Lord. She had on the earrings. She had on makeup. Amen. Hallelujah. Said in First Timothy two and nine, not with gold or pearls or costly. I'm trying to let you know the difference. How you can tell what side you're on? Yes, right. yes. Are you on God's side? Are you on the side of that? Because this is the last battle. You got to make up your mind. It's too late for two 